Hey guys, my name is Mitch, this is Electrified Reviews, and in today's video we're going to be talking about the differences between the UU1100 and the UF1200. So if you're interested in purchasing either of these bikes, which is probably why you clicked on this video, you're going to want to know some of the main differences, and that's exactly what we're going to go over in today's video. So there they are, this is a head-to-head -head video or a tire-to-tire -tire video. Now before we get into the weeds on the details comparing these bikes head to head, the main question that I was getting was around speed and performance. So let's go ahead and just hop right into that. The first test here is going to be a throttle only going from a dead stop. The distance is about 300, 400 yards, something like that. Didn't measure it out guys, this isn't scientific, but they are synced up and we'll see which one of these ones comes out on top. And it looks like to be a pretty good time, but if we get a little bit closer, you can see that there definitely was a winner here. The second one, each bike got five pedals right at the gate, so stand up, five pedals, and then it's throttle only. Let's see which one of those bikes picked up speed a little bit quicker. Again, these are synced up, so they're gonna be in real time. Looks like it's gonna be close, and it is. Ooh. There's one winner on that one as well. When it comes to performance, they definitely are on par with each other, but it looks like one of those came out a little bit more on top. If a head-to-head -head performance test was all you came here for, you're welcome. You can go about your day. If you're interested in some of the other specs, stay tuned. We're going to get into those right now. And, you know, obviously visually right off the bat, you can tell that the UF1200 is a couple inches taller. That's mainly due to a longer seat post and the fact that we have three inch tires over here not three inch tires over there so that's going to give us a little bit of boost as well and the frame is a little bit longer as you can see right here we've got a pretty decent space right here so they push the seat back to allow taller riders to get a better ride feel and up here you can tell it's a little bit more compact so those are some of just the main differences and of course suspension suspension no suspension so those are some of the main differences right off the bat i'm going to move the bikes around get some better visuals as far as comparing different things a couple of other notes the motor that is on the uf 1200 peaks at 1800 watts the one over here peaks at 1600 watts so you do get a little bit more peak wattage on here handlebars are pretty much the same they might be the same handlebars they're pretty close. We've got the same grips. We've got the same brakes. These ones are branded a little bit differently, but they do feel like a very similar brake. Actually, they might be slightly different. Both of them function really well, so it's not really a, you know, which one breaks better or not. They both break really well. They both come with the Zoo's awesome integrated light stem here, which is cool. This one is blacked out on the chrome version. And then this one is chrome on the chrome version right here. Now, for the front forks, they are black, and I believe they're going to be black. And so that's why they went with the black stem here instead of putting chrome on that one as well. I think that's something you can buy from them separately. So if you wanted to upgrade, definitely something to ask about or look into getting. Then we've got all chrome crank set over here, whereas on this side, we get a black crank set. So they're really playing with this chrome and black this is the chrome one. We've got a black chrome, a couple other colors that I was checking out on the website. I'm a big fan of chrome in general. That's why you know, this has kind of been one of my favorite bikes ever since it was launched. I was like, man, that looks slick. And you know, recently I finally got a chance to test ride it and do some stuff with it, which has been a blast. Now those are pretty much visually, spectrally, some of the main differences. I'm gonna get some better shots so we can see the differences between the two as far as the height goes and the length and just the overall ride feel setup on these two bikes. All right, so we've got them lined up. I've got the front tires at the same spot here. And as you can see right off the bat, the seat for the 1100 starts a solid three and a half inches forward of the seat for the UF1200. And if we go to the back, we see you're also gonna get another oh, about four inches or so length on the UF1200. And then if we sink down a little bit, you'll see that it's a little bit taller. Now they are on a slight downslope because I got them in the driveway. But in reality, these two bikes are fairly similar, but I mean, as you can tell, that's probably a better 
example. It's got it by about two and a half to three inches for the seat. So the seat's pushed back about three inches and it also gives you about three inches higher overall height. And then as I mentioned, the seat post here is gonna be different too. So we can get out some measurements and maybe I'll throw those on the screen as far as what the differences are. But visually you can tell that it is a bigger bike. The 1100 is still a fairly decently sized bike, but it is still somewhat compact. And then you get to the UF 1200, and this is definitely a bigger bike. Takes up a lot more space in the road. I mean, not like a whole lot of more space, but it just, if somebody sees you riding this, they can tell you're riding a bigger bike. Now we do get the custom fenders for the UF 1200. Off the top of my head, I don't know if they offer a fender solution for the 1100. I know I've seen people do some cool stuff with it. A lot of those users out there, uh, they take a lot of pride and joy in making these unique and, and customized, which is always fun to see. One other difference I'll point out real quick, so I don't get a lot of questions on it. This is just a rock form mount that I have here. So I've got a rock form case, and that just allows me to pop my phone down there, boom, and I've got access to GPS or you know whatever else I wanna do. So it does come with a chrome top tube cap here, but like I said, I've replaced that with this. I don't think I'll be replacing it on the UF1200 only because I'm not gonna have it for that long. This one's staying with me long term. It's got a spot in the garage. It's got a slot in the charger station. Uh, so she'll be, she'll be around. Looking forward to finalizing my review on it and then getting to jump into some of the cool customizations. For example, one of the things I'll probably end up doing is swapping out the grips. Now the grips here are fine. I'm just not a big fan of this slotted rubber grip because as you can see, like as I push it down, I'm gonna see if you can see. As you push it down, it indents a little bit. So I always feel like I don't have super control of the bike. Now you do, and it does make it a little bit more comfortable. Something about the way that that shifts just doesn't, I just don't personally like it. So I'll be swapping this out for another grip. Now these ones don't move or anything. They're on there really well but I'll put on something with a locking mechanism and then you know, I'll be good to go. The other thing I'm gonna do on this side, and actually you can see it's actually a difference between these two. On the U1100 that I have, the throttle is on the inside of the brake. And what that does is when you're sitting here going like this and you're going to throttle, this, although it's not really in your way, if you're holding down the bike, you see my thumb's gonna kind of catch on that. This is an easy thing to swap out. Like you just unbolt that, swap it, you're, you're good to go. These are double bolts, so you can take the bolts off, loosen this, slide it, boom, you don't even have to take the grips off. Super easy fix, but on the UF1200, you can see that they've already done that. So that's just gonna be just a little bit better. So that's, that's the way that I would set it up, and they've gone ahead and done that on here. A couple other differences. The main differences is the full suspension, right? I talked with Chris at Electrify Expo last year. He'd mentioned they were in the works of something else full suspension. And at the time I was actually looking to purchase an 1100 because I wanted one. And then he told me that and I was like, man, I got to hold out for the full suspension. And I'm glad that I did. A, because I got an 1100 anyway, right? Working on a review for it. But for the full suspension, it is awesome. It just has that, it has everything that I love about the 1100, but with full suspension and a better geometry as far as being able to pedal and just overall comfort. Cause like I said, this is a little bit more compact. This one allows you to kind of spread out a little bit more. And though it is a bigger bike, me at 510 fits me pretty much perfectly. I don't know what the exact sweet spot is or what Zoo says is the sweet spot. I'm 510 feels like I'm the sweet spot. And then if you know you go up to 6.1, down to 5.8, that's probably a really, really solid range of people that can fit on this bike and have fun on this platform. I'm gonna throw up a couple of pictures with the review. So if you wanna head on over to electrifiedreviews.com, I'll throw some example pictures on there where I'm gonna put them head to head, you know, some split screen pictures, some high quality production value stuff. And guys, so this is, it's two days after my initial ride test on the UF1200, loved it. That video should be live now, go ahead and check it out. And then the UU1100 video is coming. In my opinion, just to kind of wrap this video up, we talked about like which one is for who. If budget is a concern, obviously the UU is a little bit less expensive than the UF1200. If budget is not a concern, you enjoy a nice ride feel, then the 1200 might be the way to go. So for me, it comes down to A, 
budget is probably the first one, right? That's probably one of the bigger differences between them. And then it's gonna be the ride feel. If you're somebody who's ridden around on a non-suspension bike, now even though they do have these more balloon tires, there's more air in there, so it does make this, honestly, it's a, it's a very comfortable ride, the UU 1100. But if you're somebody that's like, hey, I want more, I want some adjustments, I wanna be able to swap out springs, I wanna be able to you know, put some more air in the front fork to get a you know, stiffer but still really nice ride feel, then you know, obviously the UF 1200 is gonna be what you're gonna to wanna to do for sure. So those are sort of my two main points in deciding like which one is for who. Budget's number one, if you got the budget for both, then the next question is, okay, do I want a very smooth, jump ready you know and if you guys saw my initial ride video that's pretty much all i did with that i mean we went we did some hill climbing tests handled it really well climbing up some of these hills continuously at 24 25 miles per hour which i was really impressed with and then i was pretty much jumping it so jumping off some knolls jumping off some drops jumping at the skate park and that is one of the things that while you can do this and obviously you know there's tons of zoos content out there of people jumping these and having fun it is more of a traditional BMX bike in that sense as there's no suspension. The last thing I'll mention as far as the differences between the two is the weight. So the weight on the UF 1200 is a little bit north of 80 pounds I believe. I'll double check, I'll have the stats on the screen here. And then for the UU 1100, it is right around 65 pounds or so I believe. I'll double check that as well and I'll put the, you know, the correct thing on there. A little asterisk so you know that uh, I don't know everything about e-bikes. And guys, that is going to do it for our overview comparing the differences between the UU 1100 and the UF 1200. If you've got any other questions, please let me know down in the comments below. We're going to be doing some testing as far as putting these head-to-head -head with acceleration and top speed. Other than that, I will catch you on the next one.